the St. Louis Cardinals hosting the Philadelphia Phillies, and both of these teams are actually minus 110 on the money line. The over-under is seven runs. The Phillies getting a run and a half are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Cardinals laying a run and a half are plus 185, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Wheeler has pitched twice against the Cardinals this year. Both games, he went seven shutout innings. The first game, they won the game four to nothing. The second game, they won two nothing in St. Louis. Quintana has pitched once against the Phillies this year. Five and two thirds, no runs, no earned, and they actually lost that game four to two in 10 innings. Over their last 10 starts, the Phillies are five and five in Wheeler's last 10 outings. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and 5.9 strikeouts per game. So a little more than a strikeout in inning, or at least one. The Phillies did end the season on a two game losing streak. They're four and six in their last 10 and 40 and 41 on the road. They are 82 and 80 overall on the run line for the regular season. And they were 42 and 39 on the run line on the road. Now, the Cardinals are 7-3 in Quintana's last 10 starts. However, they have lost his last two starts as a team. He's averaging five innings per game in his last 10 and three and a half strikeouts per game. So, not a very big strikeout chance with him. They did lose their last game to end the season. They're 4-6 in their last 10 and 53-28 and at home. They are 86-76 on the run line and 44-37 and on the run line at home. The Cardinals are a much better team at home this year than on the road. Wheeler finished the season with a 12 and seven record and a two eight two ERA, while Quintana finished at six and seven with a 2.93 ERA. Head to head, the home team's on a two game winning streak. The Cardinals are on a two game winning streak. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The under has hit in their last five games. The under is eight and two. The underdog getting a run and a half is eight and two. There have been four one run games in their last 10 meetings. The home team is six and four, and the over seven is one, two, three. It's five, two, and three for the under. Seven is the magic number where these games tend to hit and push. I'm gonna roll with the Phillies here. I think they take one. Um, Phillies with the money line, Phillies laying the runs, and I'm gonna go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.